Thanks. What's the bell for? Have you ever heard of Pavlov's dogs? Yeah, hear them all night. Yap, yap, yap. For the record, the jerk's name is Pearson, not Pavlov. Never mind. We're gonna do a little conditioning exercise. Hot damn, what do I have to do? You're doing it. Sweet. Oh, okay, all right. I think I've made my point. Not to me, you haven't. Well, this is an example of something called conditioning. Every time I rang the bell... You gave me a chocolate. Exactly. So then you became conditioned that whenever the bell rang, you expected a chocolate. Oh, sure. No, I get all that. It's just the part that has me bamboozled is where the hell is my chocolate? We had a good thing going here. Well, it's part of my point. You know how when you see somebody wearing shorts in January, you feel a need to yell at them? Someone has to. Shorts, winter, northern hemisphere. Put on some long pants, you weirdo. Fair enough. But now you've become conditioned to that particular peccadillo. And that's why... That's why I yelled at that guy for wearing shorts when it was July. This is my point. You might be on to something, Doc. Mind you, the guy's shorts were those creepy short shorts, the kind that are all cinched up and tight and gross. Well, fashion is subjective. Not when they're riding up that high. I suppose societal norms would dictate that... Hey, all the chocolates are gone. Mm -hmm.